What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod and I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark seller. And in today's video, I want to share 20 things that sold so far in the month of November on eBay. So I'm not going to lie, sales have been kind of slow for me on eBay, but it's Q4 so I'm not worried about it too much. So if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up is this Willis and Geiger belted safari jacket. Now this is my second time finding anything from Willis and Geiger and trust me this brand is definitely one to be on the lookout for because it always sells for huge profit and even though this one had some minor stains on it I still managed to sell it for a hundred and no I only sold this one for $95 but I had it listed for $109 but like I said it had some very minor stains most likely just due to age, but because of the stains, you know, I had to, you know, accept a little lower offer. But this was definitely a great flip. I had it listed for about three or four days, and I only paid, I think, six dollars for this jacket. So definitely be on the lookout for Willis and Geiger because everything from that brand always sells very high and very fast for me. Next up is this Peter Millar Summer Comfort Polo Shirt. And at first I was a little nervous about picking this up because of course summertime is over, but it's a very nice shirt. I figured that somebody would really appreciate this one, uh, especially with the little engraving that it had on the sleeve. And this one sold for full price, as you guys can see. Um, I offered free shipping, and anytime I offer free shipping, that's usually when I don't accept offers. And this one sold within, I think, three or four days. So this was also a very good sale for me. Next is a pair of Hoka 1-1s, and as you guys know, I sell tons of these every month. And this one sold for 60 bucks. Um, this one was practically brand new. I don't, I didn't see much signs of wear on it. Just a little bit of dirt on the bottom so someone probably just either wore this one time or it was a return to the hoka 11 factory which isn't too far away from me so i ended up selling these for 60 bucks and this was also a very great flip for me because i only paid i think seven or eight dollars for these shoes next up is a pair of belleville boots and i sold a pair of belleville boots in the past but those were in much better condition so i made a little more money on those but considering the little wear and tear on these, I only got 30 bucks for these boots. But like I said, 30 bucks still a good price tag for me because I only paid about four or five dollars for these boots. Um, these actually took a little longer to sell. These took about, I wanna say three, three months to sell actually. I had them for a long time. So they took up a lot of space in my uh, inventory because these boots are 11 and a half. So I'm just glad to see that they're gone. And um, yeah, like I said, good sale, 30 bucks. Next is this Guess uh, Peacoat. And I don't know what it is going on in Canada, but I had a bunch of offers for this coat from like three or four different Canadian buyers. And it ended up selling to one of them in Canada. And it sold for 40 bucks. And this was an amazing condition. It was practically brand new. But um, like I said, it was, it was so weird to have so many international offers on this. But um, I only ship internationally through the global shipping program. So um, if you guys can, um, you know, sign up for that, definitely do that because it's just an easier way to ship internationally and you can save some money on there as well, as well as saving some time when it comes to shipping these labels out, printing those labels out. Next is this Ronaldo jersey. And this was something else that I was not accepting any offers for, as you guys can see with the free shipping. And uh, this one sold, I think, within two or three days. It was a very, very quick sale. Um, I, I was actually trying something different. I usually always add measurements, but as you guys can see, I just threw the size tag on there and I just said it was a size medium and it sold just as well as anything else would sell that I would put the measurements for. So um, I'm just trying to see if I could cut down some time on, um, you know, just adding all those measurements because those measurements take a lot of time and uh, at this stage in the game for me, time is everything. So I figured that, you know, some things I'm gonna still add measurements to, but for the most part, if I can, I'll just to say it's a medium. And if the buyer has any questions, of course, then I'll take measurements. Next is this Banana Republic trench coat. And I usually don't get too many things from Banana Republic because the, the money just isn't there. But this one was a very nice coat, very, very clean. And uh, this one sold for 35 bucks. 
So um, this was also a very good sale for me as well because I only picked this up for about four or five dollars. I believe it was on sale because as you guys know in my area in California it's hot all the time so this jacket was just sitting there for a very long time so I ended up getting it half off. So um, it didn't take long to sell so this was also a very good flip for me. Um, here is a pair of fry boots. Now I love selling fry, fry boots for men or women but uh, these boots were in great shape. It was just the midsole that was kind of stained um, but I ended up having to buy the laces separately because they didn't come with laces. So all in, I think I paid seven or eight dollars for the boots and the laces was about twelve dollars from the website. So all in, I was about I was in about twenty bucks, and these ended up selling for sixty. No, these ended up selling for fifty-five. So not a ton of money being made there, but um, it didn't take that long to sell, so I wasn't complaining too bad. And um, as you guys can see on the bottom here. Um, I could not get the price off for some reason. I usually just use some acetone or some nail polish remover to get that off, but it was not working. So anytime that happens, I just go ahead and just mark over it because it's not that big of a deal. And usually buyers never care about that type of stuff. So if you can't get the price tag um, rubbed off with rubbing alcohol or acetone, just rub it over and, you know, carry on. Next is this Madewell jacket and this is a faux fur coat for women and I usually don't add stock images but uh, I wanted to just add some stock images this time that way the buyer can know exactly what they're getting but of course anytime I add stock images I make sure I take photos of the actual uh, item. So I you added some stock images and some actual photos just so the buyer knows exactly what they're getting and this sold fairly fast I think it took a week maybe two weeks and this one sold for full asking price so I wasn't I was definitely very happy about that and um, I'm glad I added some of those stock images just to help the sale um, move along a little faster next is a pair of these Sorel slippers and I had these listed for maybe a week and I was getting a bunch of offers for uh, 15 bucks and 10 bucks but you know just a bunch of low ball offers in the beginning and trust me guys and when you once you list something Early on, you might get some lowball offers, but as long as you be just a little more patient, you actually um, make some more money. But so uh, this ended up selling. I believe this one sold for twenty-five bucks, and it was sold to someone in California, so I made a little money off of the shipping. So this this worked out perfectly for me, and I believe I only paid uh, four or five dollars for these boots. Next is this carbon to cobalt shirt, and. I usually used to get like 30 bucks for carbon to cobalt but um I don't know I guess the brand the, the value just isn't there anymore but I still managed to get $21.99 for this shirt um, like I said I wasn't accepting offers as you can see with the fast and free shipping and um, it sold fairly fast I think it sold within a week so this was also a very good sale so if you guys see carbon to cobalt I would suggest you pick it up as long as the style is cool and the colors are good because they also make a lot of ugly shirts and trust me, anytime you want to sell ugly shirts, they, they're going to take a long time to sell. Next is this Dry Joy's uh, golf jacket. And I had this jacket. This I think this was featured in my last thrift store haul. So I didn't have this jacket for too long, uh, probably under two weeks. And it sold fairly fast, like I said. Um, I like the jacket, especially because of the black and the green. And even though it's a golf jacket, um, I'm pretty sure whoever picked this up probably isn't a, probably isn't even a golfer. They probably just like the jacket. So um, definitely be on the lookout for Foot Joy Dry Joy's jacket because uh, they always sell well. The, this jacket sold for 35 bucks, so I wasn't mad at that at all. Next is a pair of these Lululemon uh, Pace Breaker shorts, and um, these sold kind of fast too. I, I was expecting it to sit for a little longer, only because um, they're shorts and you know summertime is over but these sold fairly fast as you guys know lululemon is a very great brand uh, both for men and women so like i said these sold for 25 bucks and they sold within three days so definitely be on the lookout for any lululemon shorts this is a patagonia shirt that i picked up and this one sold i think within two days and i wasn't i was surprised this sold uh, for so much because I sell a lot of Patagonia shirts, but for some reason this flannel, I guess, just de demands a lot more money. 
and I actually could have sold this one for about maybe 55 to 60 bucks. I probably could have priced it a little higher and it, I might have taken a little longer to sell, but um, I was still happy with getting 55 bucks for this shirt. And um, I think I ended up shipping it first class. I think it was exactly 16 ounces. So um, I made off pretty good after, after shipping in fees. Here's a Burton coat, a uh, Burton snowboarding coat. And this one took a very long time to sell. I had this coat for over six months and it actually sold once and I actually had to accept the return. So this is the second time I'm selling this jacket and hopefully it's the last time. But this time around it sold for 55 bucks. So hopefully, um, like I said, it's the last time I'm selling it. And I'm just glad to see it gone because I had this coat for way too long. I usually sell things a lot faster, but for some reason this one just didn't you know just didn't move uh, here are some Riker boots and it took me a while to actually pick these up these were in my thrift store for a very long time um, nobody else was picking them up but um, I, I wasn't familiar with the brand so once I did some research and checked the comps I saw that they do have some value so I ended up picking it up and it took about two months to sell and um, I probably won't pick this brand up again because these boots are kind of ugly and I'm just, I'm just again selling ugly shit in my store. So I'm going to just pass on these boots the next time I see them. But if you guys see them in your area, um, why not pick them up? They sold for 30 bucks. Next is this pair of Gust and Denim jeans. And these jeans were uh, brand new without the tags. And I hardly ever post anything as brand new without the tags. I usually just say it's pre-owned. But as you guys can see, these were definitely brand new. Uh, with the raw denim, if they were worn, they would definitely start to look a little different and start to fade. And uh, these sold for $62.50. I did a lot of back and forth with the buyer, but I can tell they really wanted them, so I just gave them a deal. And um, they sold, I think, within three or four days. That's why I accepted the offer, just trying to get that cash as soon as possible. Next is this Brixton jacket, and I never sold Brixton before. Um, it's kind of popular in California, so I see it all the time, but I never pick it up. But this one sold for full asking price and it took about two weeks to sell. So that wasn't bad. And I also picked this up. I think this was six or seven dollars. So I made a, I think I made about 10 or 12 bucks on this jacket. So I wasn't complaining because it didn't take long to sell at all. Next is this Patagonia wheeled backpack. And um, this one sold, I think, within two or three days. Um, I had it priced at 150 and it ended up selling for 120 And I, I just took a lower offer only because it was so big and it was kind of taking up some space so I didn't want to hold on to it for too long but as you guys can see from the photos it was in amazing condition so um, what I did was I ended up shipping it through FedEx Smart Post just to save some money on shipping and anytime you guys are using FedEx Smart Post just make sure, make sure that you say that it's economy shipping or just label it as FedEx Smart Post just so the buyer knows that the item is going to take a little longer to get to them. And last but not least are a pair of Cole Haan driving loafers. And these are the Nike, these Cole Haans have the Nike Air technology in them. So they have somewhat of a following to them. But um, the, th the weird thing is you can't list Cole Haan and Nike together. So if you want to list it with the Nike Air, just make sure you type Nike Air one word. And that way you'll be able to list it without eBay. Um, flagging it for any type of um, I don't know what they flag it as I, I don't know if Vero has anything to do with it but um, just make sure you type it Nike Air with no space and that way you can let the buyer know that it has the Nike Air technology alright y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos so I'll see you guys in the next one peace